In this video, we will look at how to deploy Business Works Container Edition to Pivotal Cloud Foundry using Maven. To do this, we will use the Business Works plugin for Maven. This plugin can be found on GitHub and supports both BW6 and BWCE. It is actually two plugins. One is an Eclipse plugin that enables Studio to generate a Maven palm.xml. The other is a plugin for Maven itself that generates BW packages and for BWCE pushes the results to the container of choice, in this case, Pivotal Cloud Foundry. To install the plugin, download and unpack the zip file in a temporary directory. Then run install.sh for Linux or install.bat for Windows. You will be prompted to supply the TIBCO home for your BWC installation. The installation will take about a minute to complete. To show how this plugin works, here we have a BWC project that provides a simple REST service. It exposes a single GET method named user and replies with a static payload. Before we generate the POM, we will want to make sure Studio knows our target container will be Pivotal Cloud Foundry. To do this, go to Windows, Preferences, select Business Works Container Edition, Container Platform, and then choose Cloud Foundry from the dropdown. When you're done, select OK. If the container was not previously set to Cloud Foundry, you will be prompted at this point to restart Studio. Now we are ready to create our Maven Palm file. To do this, right click on your project and click on Generate Palm for Application. This will start a wizard to walk you through the process of generating the Palm. If Generate Palm for Application was not visible on the context menu, it means that the BWC Maven plugin is not installed correctly. In the wizard, check Deploy Ear to Cloud Foundry and click Next. The next window defines the deployment details. First, we must tell Maven how to connect to Pivotal Cloud Foundry. The PCF target field should be set to the same login URL that you would use with the Pivotal CLI, or what Pivotal calls the API endpoint. This URL may vary depending on your Pivotal account, and it is different from the URL you enter in a web browser when connecting to the Pivotal web UI. If you don't know your API endpoint URL, you can find it via the Pivotal Web UI under Tools. To complete a connection, you will also need to supply your Pivotal login credentials. However, since this project may be shared with others, you would not want to save your credentials in the project itself. Instead, we define an arbitrary pointer value in the PCF server name field. In a moment, I will show you how we resolve this pointer externally via a local Maven configuration file. Set the PCF org and PCF space fields to an existing org and space within your PCF account. The app name field defines the name that will be used to deploy this project within Pivotal. One caution is not to use underscores in the app name. The plugin will accept underscores, but Pivotal itself does not, leading to unpredictable results at start time. In the app build pack field, Enter the name under which you loaded your BWCE build pack into Pivotal. If you have not already loaded the BWC build pack into Pivotal, you will need to do so before executing this build. If you need more information on how to load a BWCE build pack, you may refer to one of our other videos that cover this topic or to the documentation. Next, we supply any environment variables that are required. Our project is very simple and we can just accept the defaults here. More information about environment variables can be found in the BWCE documentation. When everything is set, click on Finish. Once we refresh the Navigator pane, we can see there is a new project with a .parent suffix that contains our palm.xml file. As previously mentioned, we still need to supply our Pivotal Cloud Foundry credentials which we will do via a maven settings.xml file. The settings.xml file is stored in your home directory in a subdirectory named .m2. On Windows, the format and location of your home directory will of course be different, but the subdirectory will still be named .m2. In a text editor, add the content shown here. 
Note that the value of the ID element matches the value we previously entered in the PCF server name field when creating our POM file. The username and password elements should be set to your Pivotal login credentials. More information on Maven configuration files can be found on the Apache website. The generated POM.XML can now be executed like any standard Maven build. To execute it within Studio, right-click on the POM.XML file and select Run As Maven Build. Set the goals shown here. The install goal will create a standard BW.ear file on the local disk. The initialize goal will tell the BW Maven plugin to load the pivotal deployment properties into memory. And the CF colon push goal will use a Cloud Foundry Maven plugin to actually push and start your project on Pivotal. When everything is set, click on Run to execute the build. The console will appear to show the progress of your build. Completing the build may take a few minutes, depending on network speeds and the size of the ear file you are pushing to Pivotal. In the console, you can find a reminder of the URL where your service was deployed. Enter this URL into a browser and add the suffix slash swagger. This will return the service testing page that is automatically implemented by BWCE. To run a test, click on the Expand Operations link and then the Try It Out button. In the Response Body section, we see a valid result indicating that our deployment worked and our service is running. This concludes our video on how to deploy Business Works Container Edition to Pivotal Cloud Foundry using Maven.